Your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. This week, we're talking about a flawed view of the church. Now, why would I want to talk about a flawed view of the church? Because I think many people, they look at what people call the church, or they have a concept in their mind about what the church is that's not consistent with what we read about in the Bible. In Matthew chapter 16, and I hope you'll take time to turn there, Matthew 16 and beginning at verse number 13, Jesus is going to ask a key question. And it's very interesting to me that the discussion about Jesus is intertwined with the church, the church which belongs to him, the church that he died for. Now notice in verse number 13, when Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Now listen, some, uh, so they said, some say John the Baptist, a really great man, but that's not Jesus. Some say Elijah, one of the greatest prophets, or Jeremiah, another great prophet, or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. God is the source of this important revelation. Now listen to this. His deity is the key to everything. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock, the bedrock, of the fact that Jesus is not just a man, but a God-man. He is God the Son. Upon this rock I will build my church. What an amazing thing for people to come along and say, ah, the church is not really significant. Uh, You know, ah, yes to Jesus, no to the church. Oh, I just can't stand the church. Listen, the church which belongs to Jesus Christ is made up of flawed people. We're going to be looking at the fact in weeks to come, some of the criteria that determines whether or not a person is a member of the church which belongs to Jesus. But right here, Jesus says, you know, Don't judge the church based on human standards. He lays out a very clear criteria. This is what the church is to be. This is how you become a member of the church. This is how you surrender to Jesus. This is how you obey Jesus. All these things. Man can come up with all kinds of ideas, all kinds of methods. But the bottom line, the ideal is laid out within the pages of the Bible. Let's not confuse God's ideal with our flawed concepts. Join us again tomorrow.